video where I'm going to show you how to make a balloon sloth. What you need for this one is a mocha brown 260, a white 260, a black 260 for the nose, and a green 260 for the tree. Whatever shade you want. This is spring green. Let's start with a mocha brown 260 for the sloth. You want to inflate a 260, your mocha brown with a four finger tail. And then start at the knot end and make a one inch bubble and pinch twist it. Twist it around. Hold your fingers here. Pull this knot down real tight and turn it. And then we're gonna make a five finger bubble. Right in front of this um, pinch twist, five fingers and twist it. Make another one inch bubble, our cherry tomato size bubble, and pinch twist that. Hold this down to here, pull this bubble up. Make sure this is turned really good. See how it lost a little air? You wanna turn it really, really good so that the air doesn't come out when you pinch twist it. Pull this bubble up away from itself and turn it. So you have this. Now let's bend it down like this and we're gonna twist this part into here. Hold it together, turn it. So you have this. And now let's make the sloth's eyes. Inflate a white 260 up about, I don't know, maybe from like your armpit to like your wrist. We're not gonna use it all. Just a little piece of it for the eyes and the mouth. Take it off the knot and wrap it around one of the pinch twists. It doesn't really matter which one. Bend it over to the other side where this pinch twist is and twist it around right like that. So you have this. And now we're gonna go back across, but right in the center, we're going to twist it. So there's going to be about a three finger bubble and another three finger bubble, about three fingers, and that's gonna get twisted and wrapped like that, right on top of this one. And wrap it around the pinch twist on the other side. Now you wanna pop this off and tie it to the knot on this side, or you can tie it to itself, it doesn't matter. So what I'm gonna do is cut it. If you don't know how to pop and tie it off, you can just cut this uninflated part or the part that's not you know, fully inflated. Just cut that and all the air leaks out and you have this. Then you want to find the knot and tie it two times. One, tug it and tie it two times just so it doesn't come undone. Like tie it, tug it two times and then pull this up and cut that off up above the knot. So that's not showing. So you have this. Now you're probably wondering, well how is the neck running straight down? And Because it's on the side. To do that part, we're going to hold three fingers here on the remaining part that's sticking up. And if it's getting tight, like it is, hold it here and here and give it a little squeeze like that so it's more pliable. So right up above these three fingers, make a twist and then make a little round cherry tomato size bubble. Hold this down to here, pull the bubble up and turn it. Right like this. And now what you wanna do is tuck this in between the white one and the brown one on the bottom. The long brown one, not the one twisted in half because this is the top of your sloth's head, but right down here between this long white bubble and long brown bubble. Just tuck this in and tuck it up. Until it pops out between these, I shouldn't use the word pop, but until it comes right between these two brown bubbles. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of roll that in, tuck it in, so it looks like this. 
And now this bubble comes straight down in the middle of the face. And there's the top of the head, there's your pinch twist. You can hardly see that, it's not a big deal. It looks like the top of the sloth's head. So you have this, and now come uh, hold two fingers from the bottom of here and twist it. And then we're gonna make, a, and don't leave go, hold it like that. And then we're gonna make a four finger bubble and then hold it down to the neck and twist this into here just like you would for dog legs. So you have that. And do the same thing. Four fingers, make a twist, and then another four fingers or about the same size as the arms. Bend it down and twist this into here. So you have this. And then for his tail, you just want to hold it here and here and bend it. Bend it up and squeeze it a little bit. And that'll shape his tail. Add his nose and his face. So for that, you need a little black 260 bubble, which is about three fingers wide. Maybe two and a half. Uh, it's about three fingers, this one I have. Okay, and then knot it here and here in the back. Can you see that? And tug it and then tie it one more time just so it doesn't come undone. And then make sure you have enough length here to wrap it around and tie it. If you don't, you can cut this off above the knot and then go down your balloon as long as you need to and cut it off so you have room. Go right here between this part where it's twisted in half in the white part and tuck this up under, pull the knot up, kind of tie it around like this and you can tuck it under but I'm going to cut it off up above where I tied it and then roll this halfway down in like that for the sloth's nose. You want to draw two circles, space them out a little bit so you can draw circles around. So we're going to draw little black circles for like the center of the eggs. I'll show you. And one over here. And then draw a circle around that. If you rest your hand on here, it'll help you hold it steady. And we'll do one over here. It can be tricky to get it even. And then we're gonna curve it down on each side, kind of like a bent slice of pizza. Bend it down like that. And then do the same thing on this side. Bend it down and then go back up to the eye. And then this part gets filled in right here. This uh, bent pizza slice, what it looks like kind of. And then if you look at sloths, sloth is, or sloths, and I don't know the plural form of sloth, um, if you look at their face, they're all kind of smiling. So we wanna make them kind of smile. I'm gonna kind of, dip that down a little bit. It can just be a solid line. It doesn't have to have a little dip there, but I give them a, like a top lip and then a bottom lip and fill that in. Kind of curve down underneath of it like that. And then we're going to make kind of like commas or apostrophes. We're going to do that for his eyebrows. And they, the, the eyebrows go up on the brown part, up on the top, like that. And then we need a little tree, and to make a tree, just take a green one, set your sloth aside, inflate it with a four finger tail, let a little puff of air out before you tie it, make a one inch bubble around one, around cherry tomato size bubble, and twist it, and then make 
three little loops to fit around two fingers. One, two, three. And just flip these around so that they're secure so they don't come undone. And your little bubble goes on the top and you'll have this left over. Squeeze here and here and whoop, like that. Fill it out, take this knot, bend it down there and wrap it and leave go. And then take your tree and if you did make these four fingers, the tree should fit right through. You can just do two, you know, like the arms here on it. You don't have to tuck the legs in also, but you can if you want. Let me show you a little trick too. If you, okay, you can put the legs in like this if you want to. Say you didn't make this big enough and you want it to go around the tree. You can just take your slot and you can <laughs> untwist them right there. Twist the front of the arms, like, you know, retwist the arms. Take your little sloth, take it around the tree like this, and then twist it back together so he's holding on to the tree. That's a little trick I learned with the monkeys, just to make them hang on to the tree better. And it, it works out a lot better and a lot easier. And there is your little sloth on a tree. I'll tuck his legs through just to show you. You can do that with the lower legs also. And here is your little sloth. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next week. Take care, guys.